Well, first of all, I would like to thank you, you and all the speakers for this uh, very, very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, Post Europe is in charge uh, uh, for dissemination and communication for another project, and it's COGLO, and it's really similar uh, to what you are doing. Um, we are more, of course, uh, uh, specific on the postal industry, especially the uh, user case based on postal. And I have uh, some questions. I mean, uh, well, first of all, maybe for, for Sally and Paul, uh, regarding, uh, <coughs> I beg your pardon, uh, regarding uh, uh, the excellent cooperation between Nestlé and Pladis, my point is, uh, uh, what do you think that this cooperation can uh, work very well when somehow you are in the same sector and you have more or less the same business model? But what's happened if we want to apply Logistar uh, to two different sectors, that they have two different models? And of course, uh, I mean, it's more and more difficult. Which are the challenges that you see? uh to apply on the business model on the operational i mean it's it's a question uh, at the end for everybody for all the speakers thanks a lot and uh, i will invite you when we will have also our advisory board thanks once more sorry Andy. paul do you want to take it first yeah i mean all i was really going to say was that uh, obviously the reason it, it worked in the first place, as, as Sally uh, remarked in our in the presentation, was that we, in terms of equipment and everything, we are very similar uh, in terms of where we are, where we operate, customers and whatever. So uh, you're right. Um, there's, you know, in theory, Logistar um, could work across, across the, the but operationally are uh, restrictions. Uh, and I think that that that's a fact, that is a fact. You know, um, do we have the right kind of equipment, for example, that, that you know that, uh, that that you that you would require uh, to deliver the product? Do the customers have you know when we're delivering? Are they able to take the particular you know, for example, the trailers that we use at the moment? Are they uh, acceptable in, in, uh, where we would be delivering to? So you're right. There, for me, they're the kind of restrictions. Really, it's about, it's about on on on, um, on the equipment side as much as anything. Um, um, what do you think, Sally? Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. I think there's two things for me. Uh, one is absolutely the equipment has to to fit. If the equipment doesn't fit, then then regardless of of the logistics, the synergies won't work. Uh, but if the equipment fits, you, you could cross sectors. The other critical thing for me, though, is, is building trust. You have to have the two businesses aligned and, and build relationships. And, and investing in that time up front pays dividend to allow this to happen. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody else got any comments?